Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. How are you guys doing today? Hi. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is a bit tired, but, uh, well, going on, carrying on. It will basically, at the end of this Shenanigans, probably be like 24 hours I've been awake since my sleeping schedule has not been Shenanigans friendly before and i had to kind of adjust it but that didn't quite work mm. but uh, i have my, my second wind has, has come in after that battle <laughs> excellent it's only 1 30 a.m for you um mm. lovely uh so for those of you that might not know this is the f sequential episode there was an episode before this that this is going to be uh following directly in terms of storyline which is something we don't normally do on shenanigans you should be able to watch this uh, without having seen the other one, but I recommend watching the previous one. It's also just a really good episode. I have no idea it's... what the episode numbers are, but whatever this one's number, just go find the one that has the number one below that and you'll be great. And if you're still not convinced to watch the last episode, just as a result of last episode, Doreen's hands are now mostly charred and black, matching her armor, making yes. it even more terrifying. Yes. Go watch the last episode. Yes. Excellent. Um, well. Well. You guys well. are in shenanigans. Let's start it off there. Uh, as you do. As we do. And um, on this particular day and time, where are you guys hanging out in shenanigans? <sighs> because there's a lot of tables here, you know? Oh, but there's see. only one table in the in the corner next to the stairs. That's true. There is only one table in the corner next to the stairs. Unless you want to... I guess there's no table right here. That would be a weird place to put a table. Mm -hmm. uh, anywho, on this mostly full day, you know, 60% full day, uh, it's a pleasant one. You know, it's not too hot, not too cool. It's been about... a a week since the events over the last session. And uh, the two of you are socializing by yourselves. When you say Bernard, show back up, popping through the door, looking around, spotting you, and making a direct line to the two of you. Does he smile? No. No, this ah. is more of a frowny, grimacy thingy. That's better. And less nervous about that. That's... Uh, hmm? Ms. Doreen and Droopy? Yes. I have a follow-up job for the two of you, if you're interested. Ah. What is it? Based on the reports you gave us last time, it sounds like there aren't too many of these mystery and soldiers in Gold Hill and uh, that you probably defeated the their leader and their spellcaster. Uh, so it should be a simple matter that we can delegate to you to uh, head up to Gold Hill, just the two of you, and liberate the town from the mystery and forces. Now, most good armies would probably have been reinforced by the time you got there. You know, we could change back, a week and change since, you know, we last spoke, and then a week and change to get back there. It's probably about a month uh, by the time you get back to from when you left. Most good armies would have reinforced that area, but the Mistrian army is a piece of shit that's fallen apart, and they're poor and impoverished and have terrible everything. Uh, so I doubt they've reinforced themselves. It should be, I don't know if a walk in the park is the right term, but... I mean, there shouldn't be anything that you haven't already seen there. Unless you didn't see something. You know what I mean? You're not expecting us to murder an entire town, are you? Oh god, no, no, no. Leave the dwarves alive. Just the Mistrians, who have recently conquered and are oppressing those poor dwarves. Uh, and also routing all the gold out of Gold Hill back to Mistrea instead of to Drekus. Um... Hmm. We discussed sending a, a whole group of soldiers up there to do it, like a, a regular army, but that canyon that they've got there provides really good army blockage. Uh, so we thought, hey, the two of you did so well last time. 
Why don't you do it again? But this time, you know, keep with the killing of the, the Mistrians. Mm. Mm. What would be the pay? 100 gold pieces each. <laughs> Same as last time. Liberating an entire town. 200 gold pieces each. Sounds about right. Double pay. I mean, we're not asking you to do anything you didn't already do. Also, the love of your country. This is for this is for a good cause, you know. It's for the war effort. What do you think, Goofy? Need to buy a bigger cart. Need to buy a bigger cart. Hmm. For reinforcements. Perhaps. Hmm. So, hold on. The plan is for us to go in, wipe out their soldiers. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. What? What's to stop? Are you then going to have soldiers come and take it? Well, hopefully, you know, once their base soldiers are all gone, the dwarves will be able to arm themselves. And, you know, however they got defeated in the first place, they'll be able to, re you know, reconfigure their own things. And then you'll come back and tell us and, you know, we'll send some support their way. Uh, and hopefully just in the intervening week or whatever, because, you know, you can just head right on to Bridgegate a day later or a day away, you know. And then right. the Bridgegate forces will help reinforce the, the... It should be fine, right? You liberate them, give them a chance to get their shit together. Two days later, our, our folks show up. Seems good. Mm. Hmm. We can try. We'll go see how it goes and get out of Dodge if need be. Then maybe head back. Excellent. Alrighty then. So will you just have people stationed in the bridge? Uh, we'll send you along with this letter. He pulls out one and hands it to you uh, to give to the the Lord of Bridgegate. Um, is, it should explain is this, everything. Is this one trapped? This one is not trapped, no. But it okay. is sealed. But, uh, yeah, you shouldn't I, open it, but it's not trapped. I, I don't care. One way or the other, I'm not going to open it. I'm just saying... Like, I, I don't really want to, uh, you know. Right. I don't want to, like, start a war with that town saying, hey, here's a letter, and then it explodes in someone's face. Right, right. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are we good? I think mm -hmm. so. Excellent. Well, uh, off you go, then. Good luck. Ta-ta. He waves you, you goodbye. Hmm. Oh, Droopy wants to buy a bigger wagon. An actual mm. wagon. A covered Not just wagon. a cart. A full-fledged covered a, wagon? <gasps> it is a full uh, four-wheeled cart that Doreen has. Yes, but a covered wagon is actually bigger. Uh, a cart... Right. The cart has a capacity of 1,000 pounds, a wagon is double that. And I think you know what I mean with reinforcements. Yeah. So it costs 60 gold. Want to split it? Oh, want to split it? Yeah, the costs. Sure. I mean, it's yours to keep, so... Probably need bigger, be better beasts of burden, though. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Probably. I mean, Donkey 2 is pretty good. Excuse you, Donkey. Sorry, sorry. 
We could also just have four donkeys now. <laughs> Because we have a proper wagon. Honestly, I'm not sure we're going to be taking the cart. My plan is to just go along the roof of the canyon and stay of inside where they can release the water. Oh, right. So probably then no wagon, just... I mean, we, we can take a wagon for food and shit. To bridge? Gate. Bridge? Gate. Okay. Bridge to gate. Bridge gate, and then just, like, leave it there. Mm-hmm. And then mm. head our way there, and that way we're not like down in the canyon. If they set up another checkpoint, you know. Mm -hmm. mm. So, yes. Why are you going to have a, another large bag? Second bag. God, do you need <gasps> me to help carry it? have to make one fast oh, is the guy still here uh, yes he's uh, having oh. a drink over at the table over at the bar by himself after doing his work is there a time limit on this uh, as soon as possible okay no second bag no all right well let's go I. How much do donkeys cost anyway? Uh, okay. Or mule, don whatever the cheap thing is. Donkey, mule, ass, eight hundred copper each. So we are basically replacing the heavily damaged cart with a with good a, cart, a good with wagon. A wagon, with a covered wagon, and buy three mules. Sure. They'll put me at 275 gold even. I'll just buy the three don I'm saying they're donkeys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just say if you want me to pay for something. I have a lot of gold. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm kind of saving up for something, but meh. Okay, so the weight of, of the full fledged wagon. covered wagon is 300 pounds and each donkey can pull without being encumbered 900 pounds so you have how many donkeys four, four. okay and like a full-fledged team of donkeys yeah, a full-fledged okay. wagon yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i feel like at this point someone should probably pick up a like teamster or like wagon driving proficiency to pull having driving a team is different than driving a single or double creature is um, there a, can we find jeeves no of course not no. <laughs> it doesn't exist uh he's dead already um excuse you he, sure is... why don't you just you've been pulling this cart around with you all over the place doreen why don't you just take a wagon driving proficiency or let's call it a teamster proficiency since you've been doing this for so long just, a oh, yeah. just yeah. take it just take it you've, Neil, been, you've I... been pulling wagons forever you could you look at the kind of donkeys that we are getting here donkeys I mean, one, one is very good but one you... is quite good but look at the numbers in row 20 of hp i think whoever sold us those donkeys gave us the <laughs> literally oldest shittiest donkey yeah. well, that's what happens when you send droopy to buy donkeys you know droopy comes <laughs> yeah. back with three donkeys like oh look at what i got and oh, doreen is, is seeing the donkeys yeah. that have returned I'm, I'm fine with three but we're replacing four <laughs> Aww. you can take them back to manning's mares uh the say, the horse breeder I'm here I'm sorry. <laughs> we you we get a better one. You can have this one back. Uh, well, that sorry, one. no refunds, but I'd be happy to sell you another one. I'll, I'll buy another one. And you can just have this one back. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I, I, th I thought wait, you would say, wait, nah, maybe you we can give it to the dragon. 
Nope, nope, deal's a deal, already taken. Come on, Granny, come on. And uh, you now oh, have Granny. three. <laughs> now you've got yeah. four donkeys. And um, we have a spare number for, for Dragon Sacrifice because... It... <laughs> No, he took the granny. He took back. granny back. A deal's a oh. deal. Manning's mares is always a, got to get an eye out for a good deal. <laughs> well, granny, it's time. Well, it looks like you're going to be meat pie. To the glue factory, to you. Um. Okay. So, you guys ready for this journey? You ready for this no. mission? No. no. Hold on. Okay. I think I want to take the dake with us. What? The the skeletal snake, the dake we fought that was like the underground snake. Where is this skeletal snake? Who has it? In my room. I own the skeletal snake. Do you want to animate it? It, Is it is it actually a skeleton? It's an animated skeleton snake. Yes. Okay, and this is something that you that Doreen owns, not like some random yes. other NPC. Okay. No, this is. Remember that snake we found in the ground when we yeah. were digging out uh, the cobalt's home in the backyard. Oh, it was yeah. called a dake instead of a snake. Right. I vaguely remember this. Do you have a stat block for it? Nope. Cool. So it's a skeletal it's just, snake. A big snake. A small snake. Scrap snake. Point. Okay. So like a big. But not snake. abnormal snake, just a, a regular large skeleton snake. snake. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. And what do you do with your skeletal snake? I have it in the way. I mean, it's just like on the cart. All right, it it's just acts, in the cart. It acts as a display. Like, it's actually like on this big long piece of wood and uh -huh. like, you know, on little metal spikes holding up, holding up each of the bones. Uh huh. But it's actually just living and can move whenever oh perfect the most terrifying yep. exhibition ever <laughs> <laughs> so i want to see what the date can do because i've never used it um we are gonna find out together because i have no recollection of what it does <laughs> okay fair enough. yep yep all right so i guess we're off uh, do we need to buy anything? Ah, no. um, throw more money at food. Throw right. more money at food. Yep. It's all right. You guys have tons of cash. You are loaded. Yeah. Well, we would be loaded if I took that 3,000 copper that's still up in the room. <laughs> all right. So, off you go to Bridgegate. Um, and let's do. On the road again. Yep. Just found a way to get on the road again. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, da, 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 da. So, your journey through the forest to the edge uh, near Kershwick go swimmingly. No monsters, no bandits, no random basilisks, no trolls, no boars in your path. Uh, no beggars that turn out to be succubi, you know, nothing, nothing too unusual. It's always great when they're not succubi and it's, it's just a normal beggar. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? I know, right? All right, and you guys are beelining for bridge light again? Um, are you at all concerned about the blue dragon that lives in the mountain range? Next. All right, you know what? We're going back, like, to the river. We'll go from the woods to, to the town. Hall Hall yeah. Hallwick. 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 And then, like, to the river and follow it up. Cool. Uh, it is a short two and change day journey to Rolwick. Uh, that is mostly uneventful, but f not quite entirely. Uh, can I get a perception check when you guys are maybe, a, uh, you know, nearing Brawlwick, but not quite there? Oh. Oh, beautifully. Uh, beautifully done. You spot a pack of gnolls 
and uh, they're moving sort of parallel with you but they're also looking over at you and wincing and walking and looking and walking and every now and then the one or two or three or four of them will drop down below the high grasses so you can only see one or two and they keep coming up and down in different groups to sort of like hide their numbers so you I'll can move. never quite tell how many gnolls there are I'll, I'll just wave at them you just wave at them yeah all right. Let them know that I don't. I don't care that they're gnolls. Yeah, your confidence. Um, maybe it's your confidence. Maybe they they're already full, but they peel off away from you after a little while and don't yeah. follow suit. They uh, would there's something wonderful. about something about the that party that you're stalking that's happily waving to you, and you're just like, and maybe tomorrow. Cool. That coat yeah. smiled a bit too widely when looking at, at you. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll get them on their way back after they're already damaged. Mm. Um, all right, you make it to Rolwick, the county seat of the plane here. Uh, you can spend the night in town and then make your way for the river. Mm. La la la. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. All right, two, three days later, you find yourself um, near the river here. Let's take a quick zoom in on this. Now, we had already seen the canyon to the north over here that it was pretty steep. Well, the canyon does continue down the river, but it gets less and less and less steep along the way. Mm -hmm. um, and the area where you are, it's not really even that big of a canyon. It's maybe like, 10 feet down and the walls are pretty sloped you know it's it's more of just like a deep river basin with a, a kind of a, a slope to it okay um so it's not too bad but it still would be difficult to cross and difficult to ford the river itself the the depth of the water is pretty good and the mm -hmm. flow rate is pretty high so it's a, a swift moving river with lots of rocks uh definitely not the sort of place you'd want to cross but you can follow northward alongside the river here mm. okay and can I get perception checks from the party as you head northward? Entropy is back to her usual self. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Playing with her crossbow, getting it, oh, fucking reloading this thing, and da 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 da. Uh, munching some snacks. Munching snacks, that sort of thing. So, Doreen, as you're moving, driving the wagon alongside the river, you notice mm -hmm. that there are, there's like a, a pair of eyes that pops up in the water and will watch you guys for a while and then disappear. And then, you know, 10 minutes later, there's like those eyes in the river again, going upstream and then they'll drop down and disappear. And for a few hours that day, you notice that you're being followed in the river. Or by the by something in the river. Okay. Uh, it comes time I'll to just, make camp that night. I'll move a bit away from the river. What's a bit? Mm, Five hundred feet. Okay, so you'll just take a good steer away from the river. Um, yeah. And pony up over there. Now you still have your barrel of water, I believe, which we refilled back in shenanigans, I assume. So you've got plenty of water for the trip. Okay. Yeah. And we have, we don't even need tents because we have a good old wagon. Good old covered wagon that you can just sleep in. Although, no, yeah, I guess you're both fairly short people and the rest of the wagon's just filled with like a water barrel and some food. And a snake. And a snake, right. The snake's not really a problem. <laughs> and a sack of rats. <laughs> yeah, those can just be taken out to sleep at night or stuffed in a corner or something. Uh, yeah, the two of you can easily fit back there. Yep. Um, I mean, I also have a tent and we set up the darkness dome. Right, right. Can... Da, 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 da. Uh, when it's just the two of you, do you bother taking watches? Because you'd have to take like six hour watches at least. It'd be like 12 Droopy, hour nights. It'd be Droopy insane. We'll command her rats to. Hmm. Skeleton rats 
to be in, I mean, a good distance. What is a good distance? Like 20 yards, like okay. about 20 yards, like a circle of skull to rats. And if anything comes near, like come back to her and you know, wake up. Can skeletal rats follow such a complicated command? Um, sit there and when something comes near, wake Droopy up. When something comes near, wake Droopy up. Yeah. I, that is my thing. I don't know if right. Droopy wants to do anything. Mm. It's just the, these an rats are done via animate dead, right? Yeah. Animate dead. Third level cleric spell. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I, uh, I try to uh, formulate it as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the simple verbal commands the cast regardless of how they communicate in life. It's basically guarding something, right? Mm-hmm. Doesn't talk about the level of commands that they can follow. Okay. So I think Droopy finds herself woken up in the night multiple times as like, you know, some grass is moved and one of the rats comes back and squeaks at you or like, you know, a groundhog popped up and like started walking around and the rats come back and wake you up. And I yeah. think it's probably a, a night of awkward rest for Droopy as the rats keep waking you up over and over for like small, minor nothings. Um, Cause they're, they're stupid. They will follow your command to the letter, um, which yeah. is fine, which is fine. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. And we move on to the next night. So you guys we... keep on moving yeah. along the river. Okay. Excellent. Um, you get to about here-ish when you're camping one night. And Droopy, you get woken up constantly by these rats all the time. So one of these times you're getting woken up by a rat. And of course it can't say anything to you. Uh, it's just... What do you do when the rat comes and wakes you up? Um, when the rat comes and wakes me up, every time Droopy is going to, you know, kind of... Not immediately wake Doreen, but kind of carefully go to the drivers, you know, scamper up to the driver's seat and kind of look around. It's dark. I have infrovision. You're in magical darkness. Not the dome ends like it's a 60 feet radius mm -hmm. where we can see inside of like mm -hmm. normal mm -hmm. and then it's just a shell yeah. right so unless you're looking at the ground it's just going to be pitch black everywhere right yeah but air is clear so you can but, see the ground around you which is bright as daylight which must 60, be uncomfortable to sleep in not bright as daylight the both concerts are out yeah so it's normal, it's normal, it's normal darkness okay basically okay. Yeah. Yeah. Base, All right. But if anything is within sixty feet, I have intra vision as I can look around. How do you create the magical darkness dome again? Okay, it's one pebble of continual light inside, which any mm -hmm. overlap between continual darkness and light mm -hmm. cancel each other out mm -hmm. only in the overlap. Right. And then out in like an eight pointed directional star, spikes are put in the ground with continual darkness pebbles and a long spike is put in the ground in the center with a continual darkness stone like up at five feet. Okay, so, so you've got like five... Okay, yeah, okay, got it. So, got it. yeah, it's the setup just is... create a giant dome. It's, it's, it's nine darkness stones plus one light stone. Yep. Okay. Coolio, got it. Um, alrighty. So you wake up, you look around, it's dark, you don't see anything. What do you do? Look out at the front, go to the back, look around. Mm-hmm. 
once again, like every time, you give a, a quick cursory look and there's no one in your camp. It doesn't sound like there's any monsters anywhere. But your rat is once again at your face, like... At you. Yeah. Just this once. And I kind of kicked her in. What? Hmm, Red says something is out there. There's something out there? Yeah. Do I see anything? Yeah, it's dark. It's nighttime. It's flat plains. All you see are rats. Regular undead rats. Nothing unusual. No living rats. They are kind of exactly at the edge of our vision. Mm hmm Okay. I'll look and stay looking for like 10 minutes and huh. then probably drift back to sleep. Cool. Well, you two are up and waiting for 10 minutes to kind of look around. Uh, give me perception checks while you look around at night. It's too dark. It's dark. Uh, too sleepy. It's too sleepy, too droopy. Okay. <laughs> you guys... Slowly make your way yeah. back. Make your back, he's so late. Um, and as you're beginning to get cozy and cuddle into each other and start to drift off to sleep, um, I guess another rat comes over towards Droopy and wakes you up again. And as you start to sit up in bed and as Doreen's falling asleep for the first time or for the next time, uh, you see crawling into your wagon is this long, lanky river troll with long, thin hair pressed to its sides. Uh, it's kind of got this palish green-blue skin, and uh, you, you're sort of waking up as this thing is crawling into your wagon. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, what? What? <laughs> Let's roll for initiative. <laughs> <sighs> the best <Yeah>. method to <laughs> immediately wake someone up. What? What do you want? I mean, Droopy just... Yeah. Uh, considering you all failed your perception checks, I'm actually going to just let it act first. Um, and our river troll buddy will crawl into your wagon. And not attack Droopy. Uh, nope, definitely not attack Droopy. Go straight for Doreen. It's long <laughs> that, river claws and its big sharp pointy trait. teeth come out towards you with a 21, an 18, and an 8 to hit. I mean, I assume I'm not I'm, wearing armor. Yep, I assume that too. Uh, so. so the 8's a miss, but the two claw attacks are hit. Where are my D4s? Yeah. The hardest dice to find. Mm. Uh, Until you uh, step on them. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Uh, you will take... I can do math. You'll take six points of damage as these claws come, like, reach over the end. One grabs your left leg and rakes down it. The other grabs your right leg and rakes down it, uh, cutting you open and bleeding you out. Your turn. Hardy's turn. Droopy just screams for the rats. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> I point at the troll. And... Three plus any rats that might be, skeletal rats that might be in the vicinity, because... Sure. How many skeletal rats did you put around? Probably like 10. So 13 rats? So probably ignore the zombie thing, so because I have already skeletal rats out there. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, so 13 rats come at the troll. AC 15? Yep, AC 15, so... Wait, nope, that's not enough. That's not enough dice. <laughs> <laughs> that's the right one. So... Three! No! AC 15? 15, yeah. Four so. points of damage as the reds. <laughs> All right, four points of damage to our water troll. And Doreen's turn. Oh, 
Um, must I? All right, fine. Hands. I just. He's smacking me in the face. I'm not wearing armor. <laughs> you, you, you woke Doreen up by his. Well, Doreen woke up by his scream and getting smacked in the face or leg by the troll. Mm -hmm. She. Just, okay. Yep. Whatever. Doreen doesn't even need to bat the uh, the hands up like a soft, <laughs> soft mattress. You said the hands <laughs> against the troll. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow. It's not technically wearing armor. Wow, only 17 out of 50. It's uh, nice. Okay, so that's two crits, so 19 d6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the four reds come in and nibble at it. Then the storm of hands just explodes from Doreen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, the hands just rip the troll apart piece by piece. And in a few moments, there's just like 10 pieces of troll surrounding you. Okay. Do we have a campfire? Eh. It's late. You guys are sleeping. No one's tending to a fire. It would be irresponsible to leave a fire burning without someone watching it. Maybe and I you guys are bake. good adventurers, so you make sure to always put out your campfires, cover them with dirt, and give them a good stomping so that no lone sparks cause a wildfire. All right, I guess Doreen gets up. And the rats and hands will make sure that the troll does not regenerate. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Doreen is just going back to sleep. The Wait, hands what? will continually attack, given that was the last order. So the hands for the rest of the night are just ripping the troll apart into smaller and smaller pieces. Let it fucking try to regenerate. <laughs> <laughs> and the rats do the same. So it's just... All right. You guys go to sleep and wake up the next day. Uh, your hands and rats are kind of spread pretty far apart by now as like the troll gets ripped apart and then it kind of forms again and part of like the troll hand starts running away and then the other claws <laughs> chase after it and then a rat comes over and you know, it's just it's a mess. It's, it's a funny game for the undead minions. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's All squared right. away. You guys can make it to Bridgegate the next day. Yeah, there's no <laughs> wood around or anything. So like fast open plane, no wood. Can it regrow a head? If I just yeah. like take the skull, can we just chuck in the fire somewhere? How oh, can make fire? But there's no wood. We're we're in the plains. Ah. Uh. Yeah, whatever. Someone else's problem. <laughs> just recall my hands. All right. I, actually, I kind of tell them just to like go wash off in the river and then come back. Or rather, follow them to the river, have them wash off, and come back. Mm hmm. Excellent. Uh, okay. You guys get to Bridgegate later that day. And uh, it's a nice, quiet town. You've been here before. It's uh, fairly pleasant on the edge of the Drekissian territory, that the far northern corner, northeastern corner. I don't remember who we need to give a letter to. The Lord. The Lord, yeah. The Lord, yeah. Lord of Bridgegate, whose name I don't know, and it's probably that's written down somewhere. And who cares? That's generally who you go bother about things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, flashing the letter and the the stamp and the seal on it will get you access to Lord. <laughs> um, okay. And it can just be delivered without any question to them. And I mean, I'll just go. Here you go, Lord. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they, they open the letter <laughs> oh, and read it and go, yes, 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 I'll comply. And, you know, come back when you're done freeing Gold Hill and I'll send soldiers and it'll all be taken care of. Uh, do you need any supplies? Is there anything you need for your mission? Mm. Hmm. Can't really think of anything. Uh, so Droopy looks at Doreen. Ah, no. I should make an intelligence check for her for this. Because that is actually a very clever idea. Nah. <laughs> Ooh, grappling hook. Grappling hook? Yeah. 
Okay. If we need to like climb the side of the canyon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so next day. Hmm. Time to go. Uh, yeah. Time to head up into Gold Hill. Is that the plan? Yep. How just, are you going to go? Are you going to just go right up the road like you did last time? Well, the, mm -hmm. uh, we're leaving the carriage with the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the dake. You're taking the dake? I'm yeah. taking how, the... how do you carry the dake? Out of a curiosity. I think I just have it wrapped around my neck. Well, like, you know. I'm having... I have the sack of the Red King. Mm-hmm. Okay. So ra and sack of the Rat King over which, one shoulder, Dake wrapped over the other shoulder. Which direction or uh, side of the road was the encampment that ambushed us? The right north side, the south. north side of the road. Okay, so we'll just be along the ridge following up above. On the north side? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to take our first break right here as you guys. Um, I, I want to clarify a little bit of your movement when we come back from our break. Mm, okay. um, so we're going to take our first break here. We'll be back in a few minutes with the next section of shenanigans. So see you guys soon. Bye bye. <laughs>